Today we're gonna be talking about Mob of the Dead. Reasons why it wasn't remastered with DLC 5 for Black Ops 3, but there is a very huge possibility that we will see Mob of the Dead back sometimes in the near future, not necessarily being just a remaster map, but a remake. Two very different things, and if you catch the live stream that I did on May 17th, I was talking about it without giving or showing any proof, and I wanna make sure I do that in this video, and I wanna really stress this out that it is not confirmed in any way, shape, Perform, but we're at the same point like we were with DLC 5 four to five months ago when DLC 5 stuff was coming out It was hard to believe for so many people But with this it shouldn't be that hard to believe because of what we have in front of us And we're gonna get down to everything, but hey everybody what the heck is going on? My name is this and let's just get right into it now if you're new to the channel Definitely do consider subscribing we do daily videos and live streams And if you do end up subscribing definitely holla at me in the comment section down below so I can get back to you and thank you, but let's kick this off with the reasons why it wasn't remastered Now we can all assume things like maybe they couldn't pay the voice actors trust me They could have and I think they are getting ready for it But let's assume they couldn't pay maybe the voice actors declined. Maybe they were not available Maybe they run out of time. Maybe that was the case or maybe that wasn't the case. Jason Blendell mentioned in an interview with JC Backfire that Mob of the Dead has its purpose. But yeah, Mob, um, I can't say too much, but what I would say is I'm sure there's, a, I'm sure there's another purpose for that at some point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I, I, didn't feel, I didn't feel it thematically fit in the pack and... Uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? His look just give out a lot. I mean, really, a lot. Back when he mentioned Revelation would last a year and a half, nobody could wrap their head around. Like, are you kidding me, Jason? A year and a half? But he meant to say DLC 5 is coming. And also, back when uh, Gerard Crowe came out, he also mentioned we will see the staffs again. And a lot of people, including myself, thought that would be the case with DLC 5 or something that uh, something that we will see in DLC 4. It happened in the cutscene, but he mentioned to say that for DLC 5 again and after that of course he mentioned Revelation will last a year and a half so of course the man is cryptic AF and this time he says Mob of the Dead has its purpose and he will get to it meaning we will see it again for sure but don't really know when now I guess it's safe to say that it's not going to happen or uh, not gonna be something that we will see in Black Ops 3 with DLC 6 uh, but rather we will see for the next Treyarch game. It is very possible that it will happen because if we don't see the next Treyarch game then we already know like the, the next Treyarch game after that would be like in 2021 I guess that I, if I'm doing my math correctly it's gonna be uh, three years after 2018 right so if we don't see it now uh, it's gonna be after which I really don't think will happen so it has to happen in the next Treyarch game which for now we will call it Black Ops 4. Now the thing is with DLC 5 we got 8 remasters maps Kino and every other map is really damn good though but origins is what made this pack 10 times better and you better believe if we had mob of the dead well it was game over but I'm so glad that they held this back not because I did not want it to see in black ops 3 heck yeah I wanted it but if mob is something that we will see in the next game I would patiently wait and definitely would love to wait to see it being even better of a map compared to the quality that we just received with DLC 5 in black ops 3 now the thing is origins is what we got now the beginning of the storyline or the beginning of the zombie storyline they sold DLC 5 already and of course now they are working on their next title and maybe a little bit on DLC 5 so they can actually put it out over on PC and Xbox one in three weeks time but they are working on their next title and mob of the dead is a loop and they recently revealed the zombies uh, or a timeline for zombies that gives us so much information but raises even more questions which is awesome and this is my favorite piece and it goes like this July 14th 1941. Richthofen returns to the lab under Alcatraz where he meets Victus arriving from the empty earth with the Kernorium. Upon reading the Kernorium, Richthofen discovers numerous timelines documenting their fates and learns about the blood vials. He would later write on the page, I know now what I must do. There are a couple of words, presumably coordinates or the date, I believe. I do not really see it well, it's kind of hard, but he also says Richthofen, or the zombie storyline also says, Richthofen enters a Rift to acquire the blood of Cell and Finn. After delivering the blood to his younger self and recovering the blood vials belonging to Victus, he returns. Victus is placed on ice to be kept safe until they are needed next. And 
that is huge hint right here. And now Jason's words, and this makes me believe that Mob of the Dead will be remastered in terms of graphics for sure, but will be a remake map, meaning that it will have more areas, the lab underneath Mob, and perhaps a new easter egg that will further explain the Blood Vials, or beloved zombie storyline, and what Richtofen did there. And presumably this will also answer the teleportation question, or I should say the teleportation that happened by the end of Zetsubunashima. Of course our characters went back to mob to collect the blood vials and they have done something there I guess that's what we're going to find in the mob of the dead remake or the remaster or the remaster remake or however you want to say this I would just say mob of the dead that we will see in the near future and if Treyarch want to explain this I'm sure they will do it but they will do it in the beginning of their next game and I seriously do not doubt this a single bit that mob of the dead can be a pre-order bonus for the next Treyarch game it will sell so so well and that could be a pre-order incentive and I believe Treyarch know this already. It's also a it's also going to be the tenth anniversary for our Treyarch Zombies storyline next year and everything is kinda making sense that we see this as a second map that will be the pre-order incentive and pre-order DLC map for the next game for now we're gonna call it Black Ops 4. We have our base map just like we had Shadows of Evil this time around the giant as a pre-order map. I feel like that's going to be the case but I really wanna know from you guys your opinion your thoughts in the comments let me know if that makes any sense to you guys but if you've enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe if you're new around here and i'll catch you guys very freaking soon